Let's simplify the fraction 8 thirds. So what we want to do is we want to find another fraction that's equivalent. It's equal to 8 over 3. It's just that we've reduced or simplified it down to its lowest terms. To do that, we need to find a common factor, the greatest common factor that goes into both 8 and 3. The thing is, the greatest common factor, the only number that goes evenly into both 8 and 3, is 1. Divide 8 by 1, you get 8. Divide 3 by 1, you get 3, 8 thirds. That's what we started with. So the fraction 8 thirds, it's already in lowest terms. It's already simplified. We can't reduce this any further. We could change it to a mixed number. Right now it's an improper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So 3 goes into 8 two times with 2 left over. Bring the denominator across. We have 2 and 2 thirds. That's the mixed number for the fraction 8 thirds. You could check that 2 times 3 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. It's our 8. And the 3, we just brought that across. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.